it's all over but the grind And nobody's crying but me Friends all over, so I'm crying Hello and welcome back. This is episode 13. Um, I think we're gonna just clear up the rest of the quests for Far Harbor. Let me see what I have. So I need to talk to Bertha, and I also need to do the Dalton thing. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the Bertha thing first. Ma'am, I have to talk to you. I got 14 and a half caps. I want to hire you. I may be able to help, but... I don't want your caps. They're right about you, they say. But if you help, you'll get paid. Harbor men don't belong on this dock. If we keep clinging here, we'll bleed out and die. To get better, to grow stronger, we need land. Echo Lake Lumber Mill has power lines that connect to the old wind farm. If you clear the land, harbor men can wire up the condensers. Make it safe from the fog. You know, you're... Quite a remarkable girl. If you say so. I just don't want this pair to kill what's left of my kin. I know the money's a joke. But if my friends can resettle, I'm sure they'd do anything for you. And oh, you big. Please, help. All right, let's go figure that out. We're going to Echo Lake Lumber. So... Luckily for us, it's already marked on the map. There's going to be a decent amount of ghouls. Let me see exactly where I'm going. Over this way. Now the problem is I can't really see very well. Um, I believe I need to go up here. I really need to fix my power armor. trouble seeing. I didn't need that. Okay, there's... I think I need to get up those stairs over there. I was going to say, I knew there was another one up here. You scared me, Nick. Actually, you know what? I'm going to trade with you a little bit. Dang it. All right, now I have to do the thing where I drop stuff. <laughs> Just 
drop that. Drop that. Oh, I do have a harpoon gun. Um, let's see. I'll let Nick use that. And then I'll just have him pick all that crap up. Something for you? Grab that. Good plan. Get that. Bring that here. Count on it. Grab that. Can do. Was that it? Yeah. Alright, let's see if we got everything done. Yeah, we're still not secured, so... Let's go back down here. There's like bottle caps everywhere. I'm loving it. There you are. Anybody else? Alright, we got it. All done. Let's go talk to Bertha. Depending on you. We got nowhere else to go. I cleared the lumber mill for you. We gotta go see the captain. Here's the pay. I don't care if you don't want it. People <sighs> keep leaving the island. But now that there's land, land to call their own. <laughs> They'll come back. I never met someone that did the I captain's dance before. Is that a to turn back the bit kite. boy? You'll see. I've heard about those. What the hell is a synth, anyway? Eh. Food. Stim packs. Fully st- Hey, a Bertha. Excuse me, ma'am? Smalls, we got no time for you. The mainlander cleared out Echo Lake Lumber Mill. Whatever you're talking about isn't as important as what Bertha's got to say. We gotta get off the docks, Captain. If you give us some of those Acadian fog condensers, my friends are ready to homestead the lumber mill. Surviving is about more than taming fog. We gotta stay together, Bertha. But we're no good here. Harbormen need their own land. Something to protect and hold. I was wrong about you. What? Not you. You. Bertha knows this island better than you, Avery. We give folks some condensers, materials, and a chance to build defenses. And we'll survive, all right? And thrive, even. I can lend a hand, too. You would? Well, then their odds are sure to be better. Give them the fog condensers, Avery. Come, Bertha. You might want to check up on Echo Lake. Bertha's friends would no doubt welcome you. And take this. You never cease to amaze. Okay. The captain's dance was supposed to only be the set of stories. So let's check our data. You know, I totally forgot to talk to Kasumi. So let me go ahead and go finish that really quick.
Actually, I want to do this task because once I once I talk to Kasumi, that means we're going back. Like we're done with Far Harbor. So let me finish this real quick. Better watch yourself, cause this island sees and hears everything you do. I should know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. It's a tale of greed, blood, and vengeance. Sounds interesting. I'd, I'd like to hear it. I thought you might say that. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations, even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich, but they got greedy, took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since, killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor, someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. Let me guess. I'm the mysterious stranger who's gonna help you avenge your family. Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. Island's a sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn shame that. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Petey. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go get some junk. I'll buy some junk so I can fix my power armor. Guns, ammo, and souvenirs. Okay, I think I'm good. I'll come back and get all that junk out before I go anywhere off the island. We're in for it now. Where are they? Anybody else? Oh, there's one Sorry, folks. digging in the toilet. I won't be bothering anybody now. Alright, I think there's one over... Not in there, right? Over here? No. Let me, let me check my data real quick. Oh, cleared. Okay. So let's go back to Cassie. It's time to settle accounts. You hear me, Island? My friend here is gonna even things up. I wiped out the feral ghouls at the campground. The hero of our saga returns triumphant. <laughs> I bet the island didn't see that coming. It's only right you get paid for your troubles. Here's 200 caps for you. I wasn't looking to get paid. I'm just happy to help you out. You're a good person. I can see that. I've been thinking about what's next, and then it came to me. We all love our grandparents, don't we? Kind, gentle, doting, love to spoil you. You'd never want something awful to happen to them. Nobody would. That's why it broke my heart when I lost Grandpa George. 
sorry. You must have been very fond of him. Everybody was. But that didn't matter to the island. Oh, no. He was cursed the moment he was born adult. He had a farm, little ways north of here. Lived a peaceful life, working the land, and not causing anyone trouble. The island sent something after him. A huge monster, mean as spit, and with claws to snap steel beams. A fog crawler. Grandpa bravely stood his ground. A shotgun in his hands, holding off that terror while the farmhands fled back here. If you can take out that shell-backed devil, it'll send a message loud and clear that says the Daltons never forget when they've been wronged. That fog crawler's gonna pay. For Grandpa George. That's the spirit. Alright, let's go avenge Grandpa George. And this farm that we're going to up here is actually gonna be ours when we're done with her quest. I don't really build there a lot. Um, there was one playthrough where I did, but I'm just not the biggest fan of the atmosphere, I guess, in Far Harbor. Like, it's kind of dark and I don't know, it's just kind of hard to see. All right, let's go get this hooker. gonna say plasma grenade oh I think I messed it up why is it running away it's literally running away from me Stranger. We're just here. I thought he was gonna finish. Okay, one more hit and he should, yeah, I was gonna say he should be good after that. Not that it's an Alright. We're done. Let's go back to Cassie. I think I might have to repair my power armor too. Yeah, I got a leg and an arm With out. proper tools? I wish I could move this power armor thing. It's kind of like in the way. Normally I just wait and go to um, Sanctuary to do this, but I just don't want to go back and forth a million times. You give that fog crawler what for? Courtesy of the Daltons. Grandpa George can rest in peace. The fog crawler is dead. Wonderful. That's another chapter successfully concluded. You truly are the heroic Avenger I hoped you were. With that fog crawler gone, we can send some folks up there to get the place ready for you. That's right. The farm is yours. Your own little piece of the island. It'll take work to get it up and running again, but you'll have help. And here's another 200 caps in gratitude for your service to the great Dalton lineage. Really, it's no trouble. Well, I hope you know how much it means to me that Grandpa George can finally rest in peace. Now, I don't have to tell you that the bonds of blood and family are strong. As strong as any a person can help. But if you ask me, the strongest among them is the bond that exists between two married people. That's why the last part of this tale is the hardest one for me to tell. Believe me, I know exactly how you feel. If that's true, then I'm sorry to hear it. Perhaps we'll confront our pain together. My late husband, Daniel, was the best fisherman this island ever saw. He and his crew had a favorite fishing spot out by Brooks Head Lighthouse. One day, a day I'll never forget. I see Danny's boat pulling up with his crewmen all shouting and carrying on. Turns out some trappers moved into the lighthouse. No doubt because the island told them to. They're all crazier than a bag of mole rats. Their leader was having a little target practice. Shot Danny right between the eyes. Killed him, just like that. You go and get that son of a bitch. You make him pay for doing the island's bidding. I'll make that trapper pay. All right then. Remember, 
Trappers may be half crazy from the fog, but they still know how to use a gun. Okay. Mm I believe this is the last one that we're gonna do for her, and then we're done. And then we can go see Kasumi. They're here somewhere. I shouldn't have got right into the mix like that. <laughs> At least it's not night time. Run! Run while you can! Mm. Who are you? Why were you so easy to take out? That's how you imagine you'd go. There's one left, and I believe he's in the lighthouse. Well, maybe there's more than one left. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, I think he's up in the lighthouse. I kind of go slow when I have to spin around because it kind of makes me a little bit dizzy. <laughs> Going around in circles like that. Mysterious hollow tape. I gotta listen to that. So that was someone that was trying to help her too. I guess I'm just uh, better at it. <laughs> looked on the ground when that's happened. I've missed so many caps. That's crazy. Hmm. There's one more left over here somewhere. Done. 
Yeah. That trapper who killed your husband is dead. Then it's done. It's finally done. All those lives that were lost, all those debts finally repaid. And it was no son or daughter of Far Harbor who stood up to the island and avenged the Dalton bloodline. It was you, an outsider, a mainlander. The final chapter's been written. The story has come to an end. This is a day I never thought I'd live to see. Thank you. I was glad to help. I hope I've put your mind at ease. You certainly have. Now every good story's gotta have a happy ending, right? The hero finds the treasure, saves the sweetheart, and rides off into the sunset. Well, I'm a little old to leap up on a horse. But I have got something close to a treasure. This is an heirloom that's been in my family for... Ah, oh, let me think. Oh, for at least a generation or two. There's no Daltons left to inherit the thing, so it might as well pass on to you. The island knows this weapon. Oh, yes. You carry this, and it'll take you seriously. And that's it. That's the end. I can sleep easy now, knowing there won't be any unfinished business when they put me in the ground. Off you go now. My story's over, but yours... I think yours is only just getting interesting. I want to see if she can explain that hollow Mrs. thing. Dalton. You can feel it. The island watching you, waiting for your guard to drop. Okay, well, that's fine. I don't really need an explanation. Um, the only person left is Dr. Uh, Captain Avery. It's been ages. Miss Calder, doctor. It's hard to believe before you came here, all hope seemed lost. But now we've... We've taken back homesteads. People are finally coming together. And all of it, it's all because of you. I just wanted to help my friends. We don't deserve you. Sincerely. My people are so mired with their own concerns, I don't think they even realize that you saved us. All of us. Anything I give you or do for you, it, it just isn't enough. But take this and thank you. Alright, let me just double check and make sure we don't have anything left. Okay. Let's go back to Acadia. I know Dima's still kind of pissed off at me, but I'll see if he'll talk to me. Cause I didn't even get to tell him about the um, the wind farm switch or what else? What else was there? Yeah, I think that was it. That was just like the one secret that I forgot to tell him. Maybe he'll let me talk to him. What do you think of Acadia, Nick? Well, living in a scientific observatory wouldn't exactly be high on my list of comfortable spots. At least that fog is far enough below. I was talking more about our ideals. Synths as their own way of life. Not hiding from what they are. Kind of easy for you to say that, though, isn't it? You and I, we can't pretend to be anything else. That just means we're in the perfect position to help our kind. We can be the example in the face of adversity. I'm not looking to be anyone's example. You help who needs help. It doesn't have to be more than that. Okay, Dima. What have you done? By attacking the children of Adam, you tipped their zealotry over the edge. There's no hope for peace now. No more questions. I have to focus on our future. Well, it's worth a shot. Let's go talk to Kasumi. I don't think things have ever ended that badly, like with him shutting me out. I mean, there was that one time that Far Harbor, like, just destroyed everybody here. And I tried to hurt Kasumi, or take her out, to see if she had a synth component, because that's like a big conspiracy. It was you, wasn't it? You used something in Dima's memories to destroy the children of Adam. The island's gonna be a lot safer with that cult gone. You're okay with that? Deciding who lives and who dies? I don't know if I could have made that choice. Hey, listen. So, when you first showed up, 
you came to get me, to bring me home. I've been thinking a lot about that. I hurt Kenji and Rei by leaving, didn't I? I could have just stayed home, pretended everything was alright, but I left them. Should I go back? They obviously still care about me, or who they think I am. They need a daughter. They deserve to have one. Everything in Acadia has been settled. I found my answers. Maybe it's time I did something for someone else. Kasumi, please listen to me. You're not a synth. You're the real Kasumi. You're their daughter. That's the thing, isn't it? Now I'll never really know. That idea is always going to be there, somewhere in the back of my mind. But you're right. I'm real enough, aren't I? Maybe that's all anyone can be sure of. I need to start packing and I should start saying goodbye to everyone. Thank you for everything. Maybe I'll see you back in the Commonwealth? All right, we're good to go. Other than helping, did I skip this? I sure did. Other than helping like Chase and Faraday, I um, finished for the most part everything in Far Harbor and I think that's good enough. So let's head out and go back to Far Harbor. I'm gonna get my crap out of the uh, workbench. I don't have much love Anything for the children of Alan, but no one deserves what they got. Okay, let's go back to the Nakanos. Mom? Dad? I'm... I'm home! Kasumi? Oh my god, my baby is okay. Welcome back home, Kasumi. It's good to be home. You, you saved my daughter. Thank you. Happy to do it, Kenji. You don't often see kindness in the Commonwealth. I'll never forget this. If any of you ever need help again, you know where to find us. Kasumi, does this mean you know we're your parents, right? You're not a synth. I know, Mom. I'm sorry. I was just so confused. I wanted to go somewhere. Anywhere. It's okay, Kasumi. You're home now. Listen to Kasumi next time, Kenji. Don't just try to keep her safe. Talk to her. I know. I will. I was holding on so tightly, I almost lost her. There's one last thing you and I need to discuss. Your reward for bringing my daughter home safely. We don't have much to offer, but my father traveled the Commonwealth. He had quite a collection before he died. I buried it all near the house. I'm not the explorer he was. I don't need them. I think they would be better with you. You don't need to do that. You keep your father's collection. For your family. Thank you. Perhaps we'll need it someday. God knows plenty has happened to us already. Thank you again. You saved my family. We won't forget that. See you around, Kenji. Goodbye, Nick. Best of luck to you and your partner in the future. Thank, Thank you. you so much for everything. Kasumi is home. My and family I'll make family. sure Kenji gives her some space to This breathe. is how it should be. Alright, our work is done here. Let's come out here, talk to Nick. Hey! I'm listening. In this line of work, you have to expect the unexpected. Still, I've got to admit, 
I've never had a case quite like Kasumi's. Turned out to be quite an adventure. Yeah, a whole island trying to kill us. He is hoping the next case just takes us to some dingy bar. I could use a slow one. I'm glad things ended as well as they have. The Nakanos are a happy family again. As much as anyone around here can be. Alright, and let's go home and talk to Ellie. You're back. How did everything go with the Nakano case? I tracked Kenji's daughter to a synth refuge up north, near Far Harbor. She's back home, safe and sound. That's great. We don't often get to bring people good news. It's a nice change of pace. Thanks for coming in for this one. I knew something good was happening when you and Nick started working together. Don't be a stranger, Gumshoe. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're giving our friend here all the credit. Just keeping you on your toes, Nick. I'm gonna go outside for this outro. Because <laughs> I just know I'm gonna get interrupted. Alright, well thank you for watching. You keep that synth freak at arm's length. You understand it's, it's like me? Every time I try to do an outro, someone has something to say. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Next, I think we're gonna start on robots. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like my videos. And then if you guys wanna leave any like feedback in the comments or anything like that, just go for it. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye. It's all over. But the cry And nobody's crying But me